Okay, here we are in a just recently sprayed out stand of Facelia that was a volunteer cover crop for us. We are planting green into this and we're planting perennial ryegrass. This is not the traditional way that you plant perennial ryegrass. Dad's running the drill over there, way out on the other side of the field. Anyway, here's how it's working. Now, traditionally, a field like this planted into perennial ryegrass, it would be worked down flowery fine, extremely smooth, and then rolled down, firmed up, just smooth as glass. What we are doing is definitely not traditional. We're going in to a no-till scenario, and there are a few acres, there are a few growers that are doing some no-till grass seed growing in our area, but they are very few. Anyway, we're going in no-tilling, and on top of that, we're planting into a green living cover crop. Here again, not many growers are doing it this way. I don't know of anybody that is doing a no-till planting green for growing grass seed in this area. Now our openers are running pretty smooth and mud-free. This soil type is a very tricky one. It sticks like none other, and building up mud on those side wheels, we were worried it was going to ride the opener out of the ground. But as you can see, those openers, the side wheels on them, are coming up pretty clean. The residue, the cover crop that it's rolling in there, is keeping it up out of the mud. It's providing a barrier in between the soil and our side wheel. We felt like we had good planting depth, and as you can see back there, it's just rolling that cover crop right by the row. Now this was terminated a couple of days prior to planting. It's green, but it's going to be dead soon. And when I've looked out there and followed up, that residue broke down extremely quickly. If I had my preference, we would have a cover crop like this anytime we planted grass into a field because it really worked nicely. There, This is later planting than we typically like to be. We were, I think on October 19th was our planting date. It was just past the first half of October. Usually we like to be done with planting grass by the 10th of October. 15th is really getting iffy with how we feel on it. But we pushed it a little bit later to see if this was going to work. We got a window in the weather and we're able to get out there and go. Surprisingly enough, this field looks right now, it looks better than the field that was planted a week earlier than it. Well, thank you for following along. I'm really excited to see how this field turns out and to show all of you how this field turns out for us. This may well be how we aim to plant on our farm from here on out. Thank you again, and as always, if you like what you've seen, feel free to hit the like button, hit subscribe, and as always, ask questions in the comments.